function window. As was mentioned earlier on in the series, Decadance has a function window and to recap, this section of the interface adapts to whichever option is chosen in the function switch window. I will go through each of these in turn. Playlist. First up is the playlist. I'm fairly sure that most of you know what many of the options available are. However, for the sake of completeness, I will quickly go over them. If required, you can set Decadance up so that it will automatically mix the tracks themselves, should the occasion arise where you have to leave the computer unattended. To do this, just activate the Auto Mix button. The numbers to the right of the Auto Mix button relate to the speed that an automatic crossfade will take. This applies both to the auto mix and the auto crossfade function that is available in the faders window. 15 switches is much faster than 90, for instance. Dance and electronic music will commonly be used with decadance, and frequently this music has a four to the floor kick drum beat. This can lead to problems when you crossfade, since when beat matched, the bass frequencies can often double up and lead to problems. Decadance allows you to account for this by allowing you to apply a bass crossfade. When activated, each track's bass frequencies are lowered so that the overall level should remain fairly constant and lead to a smoother crossover. This locks out any changes that you may want to make to the bass section of the equalizer. Shuffle mode, unsurprisingly, plays tracks back in a random order. The Add Files and Add Directories buttons are used to add your tracks to the playlist. Of course, you can save and load playlists as well. Once you have tracks loaded, you can reorder them by click-dragging them. The last control is rather enigmatically called DJ Style. This is used to activate automatic beat matching between tracks when Decadance is working in auto-mix mode. <laughs> 